So Six is getting a pro shot, and I think that's really cool. So I thought I'm gonna make a video about pro shots. I have to admit, this video started with me thinking, I thought there were more announcements for pro shots, and I thought there were quite a few coming out. And then I realised there aren't actually that many being filmed, um, but, you know, we're still going to talk about them. Obviously we've got Six, which is the big one that was announced today. We know that Heathers is being filmed, or has already been filmed. Waitress, um, I don't know, it's been confirmed, but it's been heavily rumoured to be getting a Broadway pro shot. Who knows? And this could encourage more. Also, I feel like I need to clarify, I'm talking about pro shots, not bootlegs, so don't get confused um, if bootlegs are a bit dodgy. It now, for me, and I think a lot of other people, there's a reason why we love pro shots. I, like a lot of you watching, love theatre, but don't get the chance to see too much of it because either we don't live close to a big hub of theatre, like a London or a Broadway. And also, we don't have endless money to go see loads and loads of shows, so we have to be very careful and pick and choose what we go see. So what Pro Shots can do is they can allow us to see a show that we might not necessarily have seen before. I genuinely just love Pro Shots because they've helped me discover or reaffirm my love for certain musicals. Newsies, never really engaged with it before, watched it on Disney+, Plus, really enjoyed it. Come for Away on Apple TV. I mean, I'd already seen the show before I saw this, but again, it's one of those that just, it means I have that live experience in my head, and every time I'm watching it, I feel like I'm back in my live seat. I mean, there are shows like Shrek the Musical. I've got tons of Shrek the Musical videos, and I really love that show, and quite frankly, I wouldn't, I, Shrek the Musical is not a soundtrack I would have checked out if Shrek the Musical doesn't appear on Netflix. They keep taking it on and off Netflix, though. Like, can we sort that out, Netflix, please? Obviously the big famous pro shot is Hamilton, and you know, we, we all love Hamilton, and like me, you know, I loved Hamilton before, and that managed to reaffirm my love for Hamilton. It just put me in a new Hamilton phase, and that's quality. Also got me quite a lot of views in the early days of the channel, so cheers, Lynn. So let's talk about Six and Heathers. Why are they specifically getting pro shots first? Now, I don't want to get too far into the business side of why some pro shots get pro shots and why some don't, but here's kind of why. Other YouTubers have covered this topic better than I have, but I'll give you a quick little summary. It's been heavily rumoured that the filming process and all of like the documents and all of the legal stuff took $10 million for them to make. Which, yes, is on very much the higher end, but the only reason why they were at, where they could like make this pro shot was definitely because Hamilton just became this worldwide phenomenon. Like they could pay for it out of their own pockets. But here's where the balancing act comes in. Six and Heathers are both very popular musicals, but it's the British versions that are being filmed. And I don't know too much of the legal and the logistics, but it's a lot cheaper to make a pro shot in the UK due to a lot of like the union stuff. Now ignoring the business element, I think these shows are two great choices. Look, I don't mean to say this in a mean way, but fans of that type of show are of a younger demographic. The last thing anyone wants to do with the musical theatre video is like divide people, but on average, if you look at the average age for a performance of Heathers to an average performance of Les Mis, the average age is going to be a lot younger. And that is great. I mean, a lot of musicals that are targeted towards younger audiences were the musicals that I was enjoying as a younger person, which brought me into being a musical theatre fan. So back to my point, having a younger audience means they're less likely to be able to go see the actual show, like I've said earlier, due to some form of money issues or transport issues or both. So there will be a wider variety of people that will really want to get their hands on this pro shot so they can watch the show finally. I don't think pro shots can ever really be seen as too much of a bad thing. I know some people do have a problem with obviously it's not the same show. Like I know I talked about Come From Away earlier, but you don't have the exact same experience watching it on film to watching it on stage. I understand the atmosphere isn't always there, but I think you've got to accept that, you know, that's the price point that you're paying for. You know, you're, you're, you're paying to watch it on whatever streaming service or network TV you're watching it on. 
instead of, you know, the actual going to the theatre. Like, it's going to be less expensive. It's going to be not such a good experience. But one of the things I don't really agree with is when people say that it will stop people from going to see the actual show. First of all, these shows are usually big and popular enough, the ones that get pro shots, that mean they're usually fine and also the pro shot, especially when shot more cheaply, is usually a way to make money. But mainly, theatre should be for everyone. Theatre shouldn't just be for people that live in London and can just easily buy rush tickets to whatever they want to see. Theatre should be for everyone. I think pro shots, especially for those more popular musicals that people are more likely to know, can bring people that maybe don't have the money to see proper theatre a lot. It means they can have that experience, and I think that has to be a good thing. If we got to the day where most shows on the West End have a version of a pro shot, there's just too much, and it just like decreases West End sales a lot, that's when I wouldn't put my hat in that ring, because put my hat in that ring? <laughs> That's when I wouldn't support them, because I think prioritising the West End and ticket sales and full houses has to be the priority. But making theatre more of an experience that everyone can enjoy, I think that is only really a good thing. I've realised before I wrap up I should probably address Six and Heathers a little bit more. I've reacted to both of them in a Reacting to Musicals for the First Time episode on, on my channel, uh, they'll be linked on the end screen. I think I had a better reaction to Six than I did to Heathers, and hopefully in September I'm going to see a touring version of Six, which I'll try and see before I see the pro shop, it comes out by then, so I get that experience like I've explained previously. Again, I'm excited to see both of them, because they're shows that I'm not really that familiar with, and I want to see, you know, if, if I can add new shows to shows that I really, really enjoy, again, it can never be a bad thing. So I don't know much about them, but if you wanted how excited I am for them, I'm pretty damn excited for them. You got to the end of this waffly video. I congratulate you. That must have mean you like me and my talking, so please subscribe. Like I said, if you want to hear what I thought about Six the Musical on First Reaction, click this one, or Heather's the Musical, click this one. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.